Ooh, 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 ooh. We're dropping things. It's fine. Hey, hi, hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking about some incredible, amazing products because it is time for me to show you guys all of the products that I loved in the month of May. And I will let you guys know right now, there were a lot of them. So go ahead and strap yourselves in because it's gonna be a long ride. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my makeup favorites. And just to let you guys know, Every single one of my makeup favorites I do have on my face today. So starting off, we have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This was one that I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I first used it, it was not my favorite. I didn't like it, I didn't think it was anything special, I didn't like the tackiness that it left on my skin, but after using it a few times, it definitely grew on me. And it's something that I've noticed, it just keeps your makeup on no matter what you are doing it keeps your makeup on and it also I don't know how much it necessarily hydrates the skin but it does feel nice it's like cooling when you put it on and that tacky finish that it gives off really really locks your makeup in place all day long the next product that I have to show you guys is the makeup forever reboot foundation this one is definitely not full coverage and I prefer like medium to full coverage in a foundation. I would say that this is light to medium coverage, but it's perfect for going into summer because it gives off this beautiful lightweight finish and it gives you enough coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy or weigh down your skin. And it's just really, really nice and refreshing almost when you put it on. The name kind of says it all. It's like a reboot for your skin. And it just makes you look very dewy and fresh. And it's a really natural finish foundation and it looks like your skin, which I love. Next up, we have the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Pressed Powder. I use the shade 110 Creamy Natural. There's three shades of this. I think that this one is the best. But this one is perfect for setting your under eyes. And you can use it all over the face. On my skin tone, it doesn't really work because it would make me look lighter than I am. But for setting the under eyes, it just has this like almost airbrushed kind of a finish and it just makes your under eyes look smooth texture free and it locks that concealer in place and it brightens your under eyes so incredibly well and it's just like the finest pressed powder that I've ever used from the drugstore and it's so smooth and so good and I love it. <laughs> when it comes to color on the face, I only have one product to show you guys, and that is the Benefit Dallas Blush. This one is kind of a rediscovered love for me. This is one that when you look at it in the pan, it looks so boring and dull, and it doesn't look like something that you would wanna put on your face, but when you put it on the cheeks, it has this rosy kind of mauve shifting flush that looks so beautiful and natural on any skin tone and it goes well with literally any look that you could ever create so this one is super super versatile and also just absolutely gorgeous <laughs> moving into eye favorites which I actually limited myself to only showing you guys one palette and that is the alter ego goddess palette this one is so pretty. First of all, we have to talk about the packaging because um, it's gorgeous, but the product inside is also phenomenal. But does this look familiar to any of you guys? So everybody is saying that this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold palette, and I can't say because I've never used the Natasha Denona Gold palette, but what I will say is that this palette has shades that like that Dallas blush, it has shades that look super boring and then come off so amazing on the eyes. So like the shade Athena just looks like kind of dingy and weird and you looks like you don't want to put it on your eyes, but it's this neutral brown that shifts yellowy green. It has greens that shift gold. It has blues that almost have like a teal like depth to them. The color scheme of this palette is phenomenal. 
And then another thing I will say when it comes to the textures and the formulations, the mats blend out incredibly well for the price point. Also, did I mention that this is $16? you can't beat it and it's like weighted too the packaging is like weighty and so i was blown away by this honestly mattes buttery soft blend gorgeous the satins are incredible chef's kiss love them the shimmers and like the glittery kind of shades i will say those need a little bit more work and they kind of like flake off of the eyes if you don't use a glitter glue. So going along with this, the glitter glue that I love is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glitter Adhesive. This one is, it's an adhesive that doesn't feel like a glitter glue. It's clear, it has a thin watery formula, and when you put it on the eyes, you can be super, super precise with where you place it. And it also, it's so thin and lightweight that the glitter sticks to it, but it doesn't clump up on top of it. And that is something that is really difficult to find in a glitter adhesive. Next up, we have the Collab Wow Effect Mascara in the shade Extreme Black. <sighs> Listen, if I can find a mascara that works on my short, stubby little Asian lashes, you know it's good. That's really all that I have to say about it. If I find a mascara that works and I feel like I don't need to wear false lashes, that's when you know that a mascara has done its job and it will probably work on anybody because all of the mascaras out there that are cult favorites for every person on the planet do not work for me. This one does what it's supposed to and that is really difficult for me to find. <laughs> So last up in the makeup category, I have a lip combination, and that combination would be the Collab Line and Define Lip Contouring Pencil in the shade Sorry Not Sorry. It's like a deep, plummy purple shade, and these lip pencils are so buttery soft. They glide on the lips super, super smoothly, and it's really, really precise and easy to find where you want to fill in your lips. Also, going along with that, I have the Marc Jacobs Lip Cream in the shade Boy Gorgeous. And this shade, it's described as a deep grape color. It's like a fuchsia berry, but it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And in partnership with this lip liner, it creates the most beautiful, beautiful combination. Both of these have very creamy formulas, so it, they don't feel like they're drying out your lips. They don't feel like they're pulling moisture from your lips, which a lot of lip products I have found can do. And they also both have that cool undertone to them, so they make your teeth look whiter, which is always a bonus in my opinion. So moving on to skincare, I have a lot of favorites here to you guys. The first one up is the iUnique Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. This is so nice for taking off your makeup at the end of the day. I am a firm believer in I don't like makeup wipes for the face. They have a time and a place, but I don't like them as a first cleanse. I am a firm believer in cleansing oils and cleansing balms, and this one is fabulous. It has a sunflower seed oil base instead of olive oil, which I find most have an olive oil base, and I don't like that because generally those don't emulsify as well. This one emulsifies super, super easily and just melts the makeup away faster than most other cleansing balms or oils that I've used. And then for your second cleanse, I have the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Superfood Cleanser. I talk about this one a lot because it's incredible. It is so good at giving your skin a deep, clean without overly stripping it and that is something that is really really important to me i want my skin to be completely clean but i don't want that tight um, dry feeling that you get from a lot of cleansers and when it comes to this one the name says it all so it has the kale extract green tea extract spinach extract the vitamins in here are vitamins b5 vitamin c and vitamin e vitamin c and vitamin e work incredibly well together which is awesome i think this one has a little bit of natural fragrance but i don't mind that because it's a cleanser you're washing it off after what a minute so i really don't mind having fragrance in a cleanser and overall the ingredients list of this one is just stellar and it's an incredible cleanser 
Moving on, I have one exfoliating product, and this is actually an exfoliating mask, which would be the Ordinary's AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. I do actually have a video coming up pretty soon that features this product, so I will not be going in depth about it. All that I'm really gonna say is it blew my socks off, and it's really, really good at just bulldozing through anything that your skin needs to get off. It's like the most powerful exfoliating treatment that I have found on the market and it's like seven dollars. It's insane. Going into serums, the first one up is the Inky List Q10 serum. I talk about this one a lot as well because Q10 is an incredible ingredient. It is so good at giving your skin protection from environmental factors like free radicals and pollution, and it's just really, really good in the long-term benefits that you will receive. So things like anti-aging and not not necessarily anti-aging but well aging and that is something that i really really stand by i don't think that you can really reverse wrinkles once you get them but you can do everything that you can to prevent them and this is a product that can really really help with that another thing that i love about the q10 serum is the texture of it is super super like it's not like a typical serum texture it's almost like a gel moisturizer like a very light gel moisturizer texture and it glides across the skin so so easily so you don't feel like you're having to heavily press something in for like five minutes or you don't feel like you're having to tug at your skin and pull at your skin and there's absolutely no peeling that I've noticed with this either which is incredible. The next product is the Crave Beauty Great Barrier Relief. This could be classified as a serum which is where I use it. I use it in the serum stage, but if you have insanely oily skin, this could work as a lightweight moisturizer for you in the summer if you decide to use it that way. I love this product because, first of all, let's talk about the fact that a portion of the proceeds from this product are donated to helping maintain the Great Barrier Reef and you know on my channel we are environmentally friendly and anything that goes towards helping our environment, I stand by. However, when it comes to the product itself, it is incredible at just reviving your skin's moisture barrier. There, I've gone through phases this month where my skin felt so, so damaged. I could tell that my moisture barrier had been damaged because products that I use regularly started to burn. And that is a good sign that your moisture barrier is not doing so hot. So this product always helps every single time. It's so good. And that, it's because that's what it's made for. But this is formulated with 10% Tamano oil. I honestly can't tell you what that does all i know is that it kind of smells funny but it does great things for the skin <laughs> um anyways alongside of that it also has ceramides which we know is incredible for the moisture barrier it has a couple other oils in here it also has a bit of niacinamide which is an incredible ingredient i love niacinamide but it, it's formulated really, really, really well. And it also is super, super lightweight. It's not like a heavy serum, which you would think it is looking at it. And it's, it's really not. It's a super lightweight serum that spreads across the skin so nicely. And it's, it feels so great when your skin is not at its best. Next up, we have the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. I mentioned this one in my skincare routine video. Niacinamide is the second ingredient in here, and I love niacinamide. Everyone say it with me. It's fabulous, especially for the under eye area because it is targeted towards helping with pigmentation issues. And a lot of us have hyperpigmentation under the eyes dark circles. Anyways, along with niacinamide, this also has cetyl and ceteryl alcohol, which are both fatty alcohols that are essentially humectants. They draw in moisture to that area alongside of glycerin, which is another really good moisturizing humectant. And it has ceramides, which I just talked about ceramides. They're fabulous for the moisture barrier. And this one is fragrance free. A lot of eye creams that I find today are not fragrance free, and I don't 
know why but this one is and it's another reason that I love it so last in the skincare category I have two sunscreens to talk about the first one being the Purito Centella green level unscented Sun this is an SPF 50 PA 4 pluses I love it because like it says unscented it's completely fragrance free this uses Korean chemical sunscreen filters which are just way more advanced than any of the filters that we have here in the US which it's going to give you the absolute highest level of protection possible which is fabulous because if anybody takes anything away from my videos it's that you need to wear sunscreen and I take sun damage really really seriously so this one also I love 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 the texture of it it's like a sunscreen with moisturizers in it so if you're super super oily or if you just get really really sweaty or if you just don't feel the need for moisturizer you can use this as your moisturizer and sunscreen as your last step of your skincare routine which is awesome also since it's a chemical sunscreen there is no white cast which is great and another thing is this feels like nothing on the skin if you guys have a problem with wearing sunscreen because you don't like the way that it feels on your skin try Asian sunscreens I'm telling you right now the reason that you don't like the feeling of sunscreen is because you've only ever used US sunscreens and US sunscreens most of the time aren't the best that's just a fact US sunscreens are behind in their technology and this one absolutely obliterates all of the US sunscreens that I've ever tried so now that I just dragged US sunscreens let's talk about a US sunscreen <laughs> um, this one is the Tarte Tarte Guard SPF 30. This is a powder sunscreen and as you guys know I wear a lot of makeup on most days of my life so reapplying sunscreen is extremely difficult if there aren't options like powders and sprays. So this one is a powder and since it's a powder that means it has to be a mineral based formula which is fantastic because I also mentioned at some point I do not use US chemical sunscreens because of their environmental effect. So this one is formulated with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, so you're getting that broad spectrum coverage, and it's a really, really great touch-up sunscreen. Something that I also love about this one is the brush on here, and that is what most powder sunscreens come down to, is does the brush work or does the brush not work? And this brush works, and this powder also works. So I also do have one body sunscreen to talk about and that is the Pacifica Mineral SPF Bronzing Butter and this is an SPF 50. This is completely 100% zinc oxide protection but it's also tinted. Like it said, it's a bronzing sunscreen. So I don't know if you guys can see in there but it comes out like dark brown. And so if you guys have a problem with wearing sunscreen because it leaves a white cast, this will completely fix all of your problems. And another thing is a lot of people, in, especially in summer, they want to go out, they want to get tan, and so they don't wear sunscreen on their body because they want to get tan. Here's the thing, tanning in general is not the healthiest. And even if you are wearing sunscreen, you will tan. You'll just tan a lot slower than you would if you weren't wearing sunscreen. And that's what I think a lot of people don't realize is they're like, I don't wear sunscreen at all because I, I won't tan. I'll just be completely white. And I understand that, but also tanning's bad for you. You're exposing yourself to a very, very high risk of sun exposure, skin cancer, things like that and even if you do wear sunscreen you'll still tan just really slowly so I don't understand why people just don't wear sunscreen that's like this because what this does is it essentially is self tanner that you wash off at the end of the day and it protects you from the sun just throwing that out there okay you guys moving on to my very last category and that is hair products so the first one that I have to show you is the ion healthy scalp buildup remover this is a clarifying treatment and here is something that I will say about clarifying treatments I don't use them all the time 
and when I do use them, there has to be a lot of buildup in my hair. However, if you are someone with highlights or with blonde hair, like synthetic blonde hair, meaning that you've bleached it to make it that color, purple shampoo is not a toner. I'm just going to throw that out there. And I think that a lot of people think that purple shampoo will make their blonde more blonde. And purple shampoo is like a touch up maintenance type of a product if your hair was properly toned in the first place it's just for maintenance and that's i think a clarifying treatment works better than a purple shampoo does i use both i think that a clarifying treatment works better also every single time i use this my hair just feels so clean but it doesn't feel like overly stripped like it doesn't feel like my scalp is so dry that my hair is gonna fall out you know what i mean my scalp still feels nicely moisturized it feels healthy it's happy but everything feels really really soft and really clean the next product everybody knows about and that is olaplex's number three hair perfecter this is a bond strengthener like bond repair kind of treatment mask and it's something that you use on damp hair and then you shampoo and condition your hair you don't use it in place of a conditioner and I think a lot of people make that mistake and it doesn't work as well as it could for them but something that I notice literally every single time that I use this is my hair just feels so soft and silky and it looks better than before I used it I really don't know how it works what it what I'm putting in my hair to make it work but I know that it works. This is the very last product that I have to show you guys, and that is the Beyond the Zone Skip the Wash Crinkle Releaser. This product is weird. I'm letting you know that right now. It is strange. I think that it's just nice smelling water, like, I, but it can't be nice smelling water because it works, and I'm so confused by it. So what this does is, for those of you with straight hair, you will understand this. If you like have your hair up in a ponytail for a really long time, you take it down and there's a crease. You sleep on it while it's damp and it's like all wavy and kinky and weird or like things like that. You spray this in your hair, brush it, and it goes back to its natural texture. And this one works. Listen. I didn't think that a product like this existed and when I found out that it existed I was like that's completely a gimmick it's not gonna work and it does and I'm really confused by it and I don't know how it works and it's a bonus that it smells nice and I just I'm really confused on how somebody made this but now I don't think that I can live without it in my life so that's all I have to say about that one. It really blows my mind. I think I just had a brain explosion. Anyways, you guys, this is the complete roundup of all of the products that I absolutely loved in the month of May. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate you guys when you do that. Also, if you would like to watch my last video, you can go ahead and click right over here. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can go ahead and click right over here. I really love when you guys do that as well. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.